Our bread is partly a product of fermentation, among many other things. Yeast produces carbon dioxide and ethanol. The bubbles in bread are a result of this gas production, and the smell of fresh baked bread is due to the ethanol. Mmm, this smells good. I wonder if it's the ethanol. Hey guys, you know what else is fermented? What? It's alcohol. In alcohol fermentation, pyruvate turns into ethanol and carbon dioxide and NAD is recycled back into the glycolic pathway, making this wonderful cycle of glycolysis and fermentation. Andrea, you shouldn't be drinking alcohol. I was just kidding guys, it's empty. But seriously, alcohol is fermented. Civilization as we know it has totally changed because of fermentation. And uh, alcohol is part of it. Alyssa, I feel some glycolysis going through you right now. Glycolysis? What are you talking about? Glycolysis is the oldest metabolic pathway and occurs in most organisms. It is oxygen independent, which occurs without oxygen, and occurs in anaerobic conditions. Since it also occurs in anaerobic conditions without oxygen, it is safe to assume that it existed 3.5 billion years ago. Pyruvate is the product of glycolysis with ATP as the byproduct. Under aerobic conditions, it enters the Krebs cycle, but under anaerobic conditions, fermentation takes place. Fermentation is an incredibly important process. It is used in many contexts of our, of our civilization. This includes the production of foods such as bread, cheese, tofu, and chocolate, and liquids such as hot chocolate and alcohol. Delish. Fermentation is the process where sugars such as glucose, fructose, and sucrose become pyruvate, which is reduced to ethanol when it goes through the mitochondria, detoxifying it into ethanol. Ethanol can easily diffuse across cell membranes. Time to say goodbye. Hope you enjoyed the show. And enjoy your fermented hot chocolate. And for those of you who are not underage, alcohol. Not underage. Happy Holidays!